Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a magical day today. Today, we are making our way towards Sitka, Alaska. This is another magical, spectacular day on board the Holland America Eurodam through the Alaska Inside Passage. I have never been to Sitka before or Alaska before this adventure, and I am super excited to see what today brings. I enjoyed breakfast this morning, really good. I've been waking up most days around 5.50ish, uh, so I feel like I'm probably on Central slash Pacific time. Um, you know, body clock, I'm trying not to get too far off of uh, Eastern time, which I think makes a lot of sense. Go to sleep earlier, I wake up and see some cool sights. You know, for me it worked pretty well, but we'll be at Sitka in about, I think, uh, about an hour from now. So, lots of time to sit back, relax, enjoy some of these sights. Not super cold today, which has been great. Now, from what I've been told, we have some amazing weather for our uh, cruise here to Alaska. A lot of uh, other folks we've spoken to on the cruise and crew members have mentioned that most Alaskan cruises that they experience usually involve a lot of rain. So far, it has rained at least not that much, at least not as much as I've seen, right? When I go outside, I think only one time was it sprinkling. Every other time it's been dry, which has been incredible. So we've been very, very lucky uh, to have this amazing weather. And uh, it's actually been really like temperate. Like it hasn't been too, too cold. I'm super happy about that too. So really, really enjoying this and loving all the picture opportunities. It's very cool to see throughout the cruise, we see people enjoying the hot tubs. It's really, really nice. You can enjoy it and have uh, Alaskan mountains around you, which is great. You see, they fence those up, but here at the uh, main pool, they don't even fence up this one because I don't think anyone really wants to use it. So it does make uh, a lot of sense. These are nice though. So this would make, I believe, five hot tubs that we've seen outside of the uh, spa area. Grab some coffee and now in. Explorers Club, which I'm a big fan of, Deck 11 Observation uh, Forward. You'll notice tons of areas to sit back and relax, lots of seats available. Time is now 7.05 in the morning. You can see all the way out there. Love it with the foot rests and everything. It's so nice to start your day just like this as we make our way to our first port. Got some advice from a crew member who said that uh, other ships are going to be joining behind us. So we should, should be the first um, cruise ship into Sitka this morning. And apparently we should start doing things earlier because later in the day more people will be out of the port ready to explore and uh, so it makes it easier to move around when less people are there. You can see we're pulling into our spot now at Sitka. There's a bus that's going to take us to the main part of where we're going. But it's uh, great to see us coming in bright and early. First one's here. Here we are on deck three. I wanted to get a closer look as we're pulling into Sitka here. Take a look. You can see there's the dock on our starboard side here and here is Sitka, beautiful. There's a lot more of it to see, of course. This is our first glimpses of it as we're uh, starting off our day. Wow, early enough this morning, we might be able to actually catch this uh, crew member tossing the lines out. That'd be cool. I don't know if you can see in the water right there, but there's a jellyfish right there. I think you can. You can see it just uh, floating around there. I wonder if it's probably gotta be a couple more here, but cool, wildlife everywhere. So you can see they use that thinner rope to pull the thicker rope. Cross, so they don't have to throw the super thick rope, they can just, you know, toss the small one. Makes everything easier for everybody. Very cool way to start the day here, watching us pull into Sitka, Alaska. I'm gonna go inside, probably get some warmer clothes on, layers, because it might rain, you never know. And then uh, we'll be off for a spectacular day. I'm looking forward to it all, let's do it. Well, on an exciting note, it is too warm out there. It's 54 degrees, which to me is freezing. But when you go out there, it doesn't feel like 54. So this coat is way too much for today. So we'll get something else. Much better. Uh, jacket in the back, hat and gloves in here. Checked the forecast because we do have uh, like the smallest amount of service possible. And uh, it looks like rain won't start to about three-ish. Don't plan on being off too long just because Dave and Michelle are not awake yet. So <laughs> I'm gonna be exploring a bit on my own first and then come back for them. All right, Euro Dam, we will see you real soon. Not going too far, don't worry. Here we are, we've made it to Sitka, Alaska. Look at this beautiful, beautiful place. It's super quiet. It's super, super quiet. And it sounds so nice to be here with nature. I love it. Oh, there are the jellyfish again. And we have made it to Sitka Dock Area. This is only one stop in uh, the multi-stop day we have. There's a tram that'll take us to the main part of town, which we will check out in a bit. Sitka Sound, shuttle to downtown, tour departures, and restrooms. I'm gonna just kind of spend some time here at the moment, just because uh, David and Michelle are still sleeping, so I don't want to go too, too far. 
But we're gonna just check out this area first, then we'll take the tram in a bit. First up here is Halibut Point, crab and chowder, established in 2016. Well, they've got merchandise along with the food that's over there. Oh, well, the sign said Alaskan Dungeness Crab, that's cool. But then I decided to just take a look in this tank, and sure enough, there are Alaskan Dungeness Crab <laughs> crawling around in this aerating tank here. Definitely cool. Definitely Alaska. Oh, here's this guy. Here's where the uh, tour departures come from, the restrooms over there. And then here's where you can see the shuttle to downtown, which they're expecting a very long line, but later. And I was told I gotta do this earlier because of that fact. But before we do it, let's check out this store over here where they've got a big bear up front. He's so cute. Inside this store here, you can see they've got a lot of fun items for the whole family, from shirts, hats, socks, memorabilia, even those bears right there. Look at those. I don't think those are for sale, but the smaller ones here, the Santa and the reindeer are super cute. They also have knives and different wooden sculptures over there. Super nice. There's puffins, books, so many cool things. You can get little night lights here. Uh, they got little beer can openers. I love it all. It's a lot of great items they have, and most of it that I'm seeing here is 40% off, which is pretty good. We'll see if we uh, get some just a bit later. All right, headed back on board the beautiful Euro Dam just for a few minutes, and then we'll be back off again to explore Sitka. Largest temperate rainforest at 16.7 million acres. And we've made it to Sitka. A lot of buses here dropping guests off from both our cruise and the Princess Cruise. We're gonna walk around, take pictures, and have a great day. Let's do it. After an incredible experience, we are now going to wait in this massive line to get back to the port. After an absolutely amazing day here in Sitka, we are here back at the ship. 30 minutes to go. There's the Euro Dam. Such an incredible day. Uh, we did so much in Sitka. We saw those totem poles. It was just an incredible, amazing, magical day. I think it was my favorite port of call, minus Glacier Bay. Really enjoyed it so, so much. Then came back, changed, went to the hot tub, had a great time, enjoyed a little bit of a snack, but not too hungry. The ship is really moving from side to side. Uh, about three meters uh, swells is what uh, one of the deck officers said. Seems like that's a lot, but uh, you know, this is a smaller ship, so it's hard for me to judge it. Um, overall though, yeah, it's a lot. But overall, uh, a lot of movement, but having a fantastic time. With that, we're gonna take probably one more run to the Lido deck to get some uh, drinks, and then probably start heading to bed early, because we gotta be up super early for a Lumberjack show tomorrow at Kitchikan. Looking forward to sharing all that with you. Thanks as always for being a part of it, and a special thanks to our patrons for making it all possible. Until next time. Have a magical day. Have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.